A clumsy girl who fails in almost everything is given the task of saving the world. Moreover, she needs to team up with an unknown guy. Marinette is a teenage girl living with her parents. Her family owns a bakery and makes sure Marinette gets everything she desires. His father bakes some fresh cakes for her friends, but Marinette hasn't made any friends yet. She is an introvert with a clumsy personality and always gets misunderstood. While traveling to school, she always stops by the designer shops to stare at the marvelous dresses. Marinette loves the fashion industry and wants to become a designer, but she never found the courage or the opportunity to express her talent. As soon as she reaches school, Marinette trips over and spills a drop of coffee on Chloe's branded sweater. She's the spoiled rich girl of the school and can't bear anyone messing with her. Marinette gets in trouble, but fortunately a girl starts filming Chloe's actions and she has to spare Marinette. This is Alia. She's a sweet girl who loves shooting actions and incidents. As Marinette always gets in trouble due to her clumsiness, Alia wants to stick to her and capture all the moments. Throughout the day, Marinette keeps facing problems and fails in everything she attempts, but Alia tries her best to encourage her. Later that day, Chloe spots Marinette again and follows her to take revenge for destroying her sweater. Marinette runs away and hides in the library. She begs the god for a little luck for her, and the heavens hear the prayers. A handsome guy notices Marinette and asks if she's alright. Marinette gets nervous and falls down again, but the polite guy helps her get up. Before Marinette can ask him anything, he leaves quietly. The guy's name's Adrian. He's the only son of the famous designer Gabriel Agresti. Since the death of his mother, Adrian feels really lonely and often requests his dad to spend some time with him, but Gabriel still hasn't moved on from his wife's death. Emily was a beautiful young lady and Gabriel loved her with all his heart. He searched the whole world and found a magical miraculous gem that could bring back her wife. But he also needs the assistance of the miraculous ladybug and cat noir. They are two other magical gems who are summoned only when chaos arrives. To find them, Gabriel is ready to put the whole world in danger. Meanwhile, Wang Fu, the guardian of miraculous gems, senses the danger and wakes up the two Kwamis, letting them out to choose the next two heroes. Marinette is still running away from Chloe and almost gets hit by the vehicles. She suddenly notices Wang Fu and risks her own life to save the old guy. Wang Fu gets really impressed and calls Marinette the chosen hero. Marinette doesn't have time to hear this all and keeps running away to hide from Chloe. She ends up in a corner shop and sees a ladybug flying out of her bag. It's the Kwame of creation called Tiki that has chosen Marinette as the superhero ladybug. And the Kwame of destruction called Plague has chosen Adrian as the superhero cat noir. Meanwhile, their enemies, the Akumas or the Dark Butterflies, look for their next target. They use people suffering from depression or anger. A man was proposing to his crush but got rejected. He loses his senses in anger and grief and gets attacked by the Akumas who turn him into a monster. Back at the corner shop, Marinette gets scared by the little pixie and believes that it has mistaken her for someone else. Marinette doesn't think herself worthy of a superhero who can save the world. She can't even spend a single day without attracting trouble. The Kwame still believes in her choice and gives Marinette the miraculous ladybug gems. Marinette wears them as earrings and magically changes into her costume. She also gets a unique weapon. It's like a yo-yo that helps ladybug move around faster but Marinette doesn't understand how to use it and ends up breaking into a museum. She finds Adrian there but doesn't recognize him. His identity is hidden too by wearing the Cat Noir ring. Cat Noir believes he's enough to save the world by himself. Though he's a newbie too, but acts like a professional, and offers Ladybug to be his sidekick. While he's bragging about his strong senses and shows his miraculous weapon, the Akuma monster walks right behind him. Cat Noir fails to defeat the monster and ends up being dragged away by it. Ladybug realizes that Cat Noir just got his powers and he needs her help, but she hasn't learned to use her power properly yet. She runs after the monster anyway and starts to learn her power controls. She gains confidence and tries her best to keep the public safe. The monster crashes into the train track, but he hasn't been defeated yet. Cat Noir distracts him and runs away, but his feet get stuck in the train track. Luckily, Ladybug reaches there in time and saves Cat Noir while the monster is destroyed by the upcoming train. Cat Noir wakes up and thanks Ladybug for her help. Wang Fu reaches there and explains about the miraculous gems they got. However, they must fight together to create the perfect balance needed to defeat the enemy. Cat Noir wants to spend more time with Ladybug, but she's getting late for dinner. Little does she know, Cat Noir has fallen for her deeply. She's like a ray of sunshine in Cat Noir's sad, lonely life. He has smiled this much after a really long time. Even after going back to his real self, Adrian can't forget the girl he met tonight. Meanwhile, Marinette reaches home in time and regrets everything that happened today. She didn't even like Cat Noir and wouldn't like to meet him ever again. Tiki admires Marinette's bravery and calls her a savior, but the poor girl is already overwhelmed. 
She still hasn't learned to believe in herself and asks Tiki to leave her alone. Gabriel sees Cat Noir and Ladybug on the news and gets ready to steal their miraculous gems. His Kwame stops him from going too far and choosing evil, but Gabriel doesn't listen. He breaks into the prison and sets free the worst criminals to attack the city. The next morning, two notorious jokers rob the bank. The police are surrounding them, but they don't care as they are assisted with the power of dark butterflies. The jokers get out fearlessly and run away with the money. The news spreads like fire and Marinette's father gets worried for her as she's going to the city fair. Despite his wife's disapproval, Marinette's dad sneaks into the fair. Marinette has gone there with Alia while Adrian is accompanying his friend Nino. Alia notices that Marinette likes Adrian so she takes away Nino to give her friend some quality time with her crush. She starts talking about her dad's bakery but her dad can't stay quiet anymore and jumps in the conversation. Marinette gets really embarrassed but Adrian doesn't mind. Unfortunately, he gets an urgent call from his dad who calls him back home immediately. After he leaves, the fair changes into a nightmare. The criminal jokers have reached there and used their evil powers to harm the innocent public. The Ferris wheel is rolling away. The roller coaster is out of track and people are screaming for help. Marinette is not that selfish to not help others, but she can't gather enough courage either. Tiki keeps motivating her and convinces Marinette to get in her superhero form again. Cat Noir reaches there too and together they face the jokers. They realize that their power doubles when they attack together, so they must work hand in hand to defeat the enemy. The Jokers ask them to hand over their miraculous gems, but the superheroes will not give up so easily. The Jokers have also created a balloon monster that's causing even more destruction, but it can't scare away the superheroes. After carrying down the roller coaster, Ladybug notices a pointed building. She decides to use it to pop the balloon monster. Cat Noir helps her in distracting the monster and bringing it near the building. The monster pops up and the ferris wheel is stopped too. The dark butterflies leave the Joker's bodies but Gabriel hasn't given up yet. He keeps sending deadly villains one after another, but the super duo of Ladybug and Cat Noir defeats them all. Moreover, Ladybug is gaining more confidence and starts performing better in her daily life too, while Adrian has learned to smile more and he found a purpose to keep living. Their teamwork is growing stronger day by day and Cat Noir's feelings too. He stops Ladybug every night after their mission so he can spend more time with her. His eyes scream his love but Ladybug's heart is taken by Adrian. She excuses herself and gets home early without knowing that Cat Noir and Adrian are the same guy. Marinette prepares a gift for Adrian and wants to ask him to join her to the annual ball. Just a night before her confession, Marinette goes to meet Cat Noir as Ladybug. Cat Noir takes her to the theater where his mother worked. He also arranges a piano and sings a song just for Ladybug. She also sings alone and the night feels like a perfect confession. But Ladybug excuses herself and tells Cat Noir that her heart belongs to someone else. After facing the harsh rejection, Cat Noir reaches home and takes out his anger on his dad and makes him more depressed. The next morning, Marinette confesses to Adrian but he also claims to love someone else. They both suffer from heartbreak just because they are unaware of each other's double identity. Each other. Meanwhile, Gabriel is drowned under grief and regret and he gives his heart away to the dark butterflies. He turns into the evil hawk moth. The sky turns red and people start running away to save their lives. Marinette notices the danger and gets ready to fulfill her duty despite the rejection pain she's going through. A storm is taking over the city and Ladybug can't stop it alone but Cat Noir is nowhere to be seen. He's still going through his heartbreak period. Plague has enough and he forces Adrian to get out of bed. Cat Noir reaches City Square but he doesn't want to work together with Ladybug. She tries to stop him but Cat Noir climbs up the tower to fight Hawk Moth alone. However, he doesn't have much strength as an individual and fails the mission. Hawk Moth breaks the tower into pieces and it falls down in the river along with Cat Noir. Ladybug jumps in the water and pulls out her partner. She keeps calling him back to senses but Cat Noir doesn't respond. Hawk Moth gets down as well and attacks Ladybug. He steals her miraculous gems and proceeds to take Cat Noir's too. Marinette wants to get up but she feels so weak without her powers. Tiki reminds her that the real strength is her love and care for others. She still has it without the gems. Realizing this, Marinette gets up again and saves Cat Noir, but she can't stand against Hawk Moth for long. He pushes her away and grabs Cat Noir. The superhero's mask is ripped off and Hawk Moth recognizes it's Adrian. His heart starts beating again and the dark butterflies leave his body. Gabriel feels so ashamed for his attempt to hurt his own son. He loved Emily since his childhood and Adrian was like a memorial of their unconditional love. When fate took away Emily, Gabriel thought Adrian really needed his mother so he started looking for the miraculous gems. He didn't do this all for himself. He just wanted to make his beloved son happy. Adrian understands his father's intentions and tells him that he only needs his dad. 
They hug and reconcile while Ladybug takes back her form. She gets on the top of a building and uses her all strength to repair the city. Everything is back to normal, but no one is going to forget the legendary heroes. Adrian still doesn't know about Ladybug's identity, but she has a perfect plan to reveal it. Marinette dresses up in a red gown and reaches the party. After greeting her friends, she goes to meet Adrian and calls him Cat Noir. She also borrows his mask to prove that she's the brave superhero Adrian fell for. They grab each other's hands and dance peacefully under the romantic atmosphere, which ends up in a lovely kiss. Is it the happily ever after or not? Because inside the depths of his mansion, Gabriel is hiding the biggest secret ever.